Well, hi, I'm Dr. Emily Foltz, the adjunct instructor of oboe at Washburn University, and we're here at Washburn University in White Concert Hall um, talking about this year's KMEA excerpts, which for oboe this year is excerpts from the Concerto in C Major for Oboe and Orchestra, which is, as you can see at the top of your music, attributed to Haydn. Um, most likely, this is, this is an anonymous concerto that somebody attached Haydn's name to back in the 18th century in order to sell more copies, because he was very popular and his music sold. But it's a very nice little classical concerto. Um, the edition that we're working off of was edited and prepared by Evelyn Rothwell, who was one of the first woman woodwind players in the London Symphony Orchestra back in the mid 20th century. And that she prepared this edition means that she added um, a lot of the dynamics and articulations, and she in fact composed the cadenza that is the second excerpt. So it is not even attributed to Haydn. The second, the cadenza is by Evelyn Rothwell. So um, my biggest advice for this first excerpt is to practice it with a drone. And you can find on many tuner apps on your phone, something that'll play a drone, a sustained pitch like this. For example, for the first excerpt, playing a C on your drone app or tuner, whatever works for you, is really good. It'll make sure that you're landing on all of those important Cs in tune. You know, you start on C, you hit the high C, then you gotta land on the low C, so it really tests all three of those. So, you know, just turn on that drone, and then a great way to practice playing in tune is just play out of time with the drone. practice things like going over that arpeggio. Um, and it'll especially make sure that as you crescendo through that high C, you don't get sharper if you're playing with the drone. When you're playing that high C, you should know what is going on in the orchestra or piano part underneath. So when you get to the high C in the fifth measure of the excerpt, you should know the orchestra part goes like this. And then you're free. You don't have any accompaniment until you hit the downbeat in the 11th bar of the excerpt. So that's, you wanna keep in mind what um, parts of the concerto you can play freely. For example, like I said, from bar nine of the excerpt to bar 11 of the excerpt. And um, similarly, the entire cadenza excerpt
the second excerpt is the cadenza from the end of the first movement of this concerto. A cadenza is basically an extremely ornamented note. You're, in fact, in this basically ornamenting um, a C, this entire, you know, how many lines, seven lines of music. So you're entirely free, entirely by yourself. It's a good idea to use the note values as, you know, kind of a relative indication of how long they should be. You don't want to be metronomically in time, like you know, you want to be, you can be a little more free. Keep in mind, you know, plan out ahead of time where you will accelerate a little bit and where you'll pull back the tempo, because you want it to be dramatic. So you can hear in that very first phrase, I speed up and then slow back down for the, the drama. Um, now let's look at the slow movement excerpt from the second movement. This one, I think the most important thing is don't be hurried. It's very stately. As you can see underneath here, it says dolce, which is Italian for sweetly. So just don't be hurried. You want to float above the accompaniment, you know, which you should, you should know that. Listen to recordings of it. You can, in fact, find a recording of Evelyn Rothwell playing this um, herself, an, an historic recording. Um, just very calm, stately, sweetly. And this one is also a good one to play with a drone on a C or an F. Thank you for tuning in to this video for the KMEA Allstate excerpts. Um, again, I'm Dr. Emily Foltz at Washburn University, and um, my contact information will be in the description below the video, and I'd be happy to meet up. We can do Zoom lessons, we can do in-person lessons if you're in the eastern half of the state, and if you need help with reads, I'd be happy to help out. Thank you.